Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show how to render models created in FreeCAD using external renderer. So we're going to talk about color change and texturing, lighting, and camera setup. So I have a like an image here that that we are going to create create that. So first thing is we come back to FreeCAD. Uh, we have to be in uh, ray tracing workbench and I'm going to show you how uh, what the settings are so you have to set your executable uh, to uh, to the free uh, the POV ray and then uh, there are a couple of setups so you can you know watch replay that and you can see that how the settings are done now what I'm going to do is to use the create a POV ray project and insert the 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 objects that I have already created. There are two objects. One is a cell phone holder. Other one is like a base, or we call it table. And I'm going to include those two objects into the POV ray uh, project. And then I'm going to set the camera. Um, so uh, the, the camera view is pretty much same as what you are viewing right now. So you set the camera view and then export it. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So we export that file out of FreeCAD and you give one some name, uh, whatever name you, and then you export it out. Now that file is saved. Uh, as a POV ray uh, text file. Now we are in POV ray, so you can download this POV ray, go into the POV ray org and download this and install it. Now uh, in the POV ray, you can, you know, your settings, the way I have set up is I have set up the, uh, the, uh, the amount of uh, the, the image size to be 1920 by 1080 pixel which is the standard and I, I have switch on the anti-aliasing to give a better image so um, I since I have already you know got it set up I'm not going to save it so the, we are going to now uh, you can open up the file that you created on FreeCAD and export it out into or, or you can just drag and drop it now this is the text file. This is written in C++. And uh, the one thing that you need to be aware of is in POV ray, units are in millimeters. So that's why uh, the mesh and the all the coordinates that you see here, the camera coordinates and all that stuff are in millimeters. So they get automatically converted into uh, millimeters if you are using inches in uh, FreeCAD. Now, uh, the mesh data, so this file contains mesh data, uh, camera locations, colors, um, and then uh, lighting. So it, 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 what it gives you is a very uh, basic setup. So now I'm going to run that file, uh, run this as executable, and what you the image you are seeing is what it spills out. It is a grayish color, very dull, has no reflections on it, so it's unrealistic. So we are going to go, go and do some colors, add some colors. So first thing you have to do is you have to search for the object and you go, the first, there are two objects we put, right? First one is the uh, the, uh, the cell phone holder. The second one is the, uh, I call it cube, but it's the table. And we are on the first uh, object now i'm going to comment out the the colors this is the texture that is already in i'm going to insert a color i like so you go to insert colors pick uh, any color you want you i mean i'm going to pick uh, red uh, color red and insert that now the color is already inserted it's pretty simple right i mean you just go and insert it and you run it again you you run the executable now you see you have changed the color uh, now this is you know how you can change color i know you can change you have several options but within the option and if you go and look at the the parameters the color you can tweak it and get a slightly different uh, texture okay so 
essentially what this provides you is a infinite set of colors okay so that that's why this POV ray has, you know, it's it's quite powerful. So you can change colors the way you want. You can do trial and error. Now, what I want to do is next is add a texture to the uh, base or the table. The the we call it the cube. And I'm going to, you know, first I'm going to comment out what is the default that was split out of FreeCAD, and I'm going to insert. Uh, let's say a metallic so let's go to uh, texture and metals and then metals and then i'm going to pick a metallic copper it's called t underscore copper underscore one a so just insert it and let's save and run it and yeah it seems like there's slight error because this is written in uh, c plus plus so they have these curly brackets that you need to open and close so be careful of that you have the right set of curly brackets now we have um, you know going to execute that uh, and the image we are getting is quite nice now you can see red color cell phone holder but the base which is the, the phone is sitting on is in a metallic texture so one thing that you be to be aware of is you have to have this include you have to declare this uh, include metals or include wood uh, at the beginning so that it is um, you know it, it can be uh, incorporated the, the texture can be incorporated if it is not there you won't be able to uh, you know that it will give you an error so um, now the, so you can change to metallic, you can do wood, there are a couple of options. Now, what we are going to do next is to change the light source. We have got a default light source, and that light source is essentially uh, located in the camera location. So that's why it is cam underscore location, this means it is in the camera location. Now, what I want to do is to change it. Now, I, I'll show you how you can change that. Now, um, in uh, POV Ray as well as in FreeCAD, our origin uh, is same, but our coordinate system is slightly different. That's why I have shown you here what is the POV Ray coordinate system is. Now, uh, keep in mind we are in millimeters. So if you want to, let's say, change your location of the lights, that's what I'm going to do right now is you have to be aware of your coordinate system and your origin, right? And then you can say, okay, how much I want to have my light in this location. So I'm going to put it in minus 200 in X, 200 in Y, 250 in Z coordinates. So that's where I want it. Now, if that points out to be the location, uh, or like uh, left of this, um, this left corner of, the screen now I'm going to add few more options you know fade distance and then uh, the uh, power uh, so that you kind of give you additional you know options you can have and play with it that will give you a, a, a kind of a nice uh, I would say a nice reflection. So now light setup is done. I'm running the model. I got the image back and you can see the reflection. Your very, very realistic reflection is appearing on the object as well as on the base. So that's how you do adjust the lighting. Now, the last one, I'm going to show you what I have done as the final uh, render, which is going to give you a wood uh, texture on the base the table uh, which I have to include the wood uh, the include file or the include command uh, so that will declare the wood uh, uh, the texture so that I can include it in my uh, the texture image I position the camera slightly all differently it was on camera angle was for this early it was 45 it is to 67.5 I changed the color texture to red orange and then I also I keep the same light in location but I changed the the base color or the texture to wood texture by declaring 
the wood texture first and then inserting into the object now here what i have done is i did some scaling uh, I increased the scale to 500 both X and Y so the wood grains will appear straight if you have a smaller number it will kind of show up as a circular uh, I didn't want to do that so that's why I scaled it up and you see the same lighting so let's run it and see what, what you're going to get so uh, yeah so this is the image so it's it's quite uh, natural uh, it has a nice uh, uh, a rendered image with uh, realistic uh, reflections falling onto the table the table has a wood texture light is on uh, on the I would say on the left side uh, that's where I position the light so this is another image we created with that metallic base so uh, if I, this that's all for this video thank you leave comments and please subscribe